Hey, Madison. I heard everything from Dylan. He said you went on vacation again. To Hawaii. I thought we were planning on going there together. Why did you go off without us? Hey, I think Dylan told you, but it was a family vacation just between us. We go on vacation together every year. And this year's destination just happened to be Hawaii. That's beside the point. If it's a family vacation, then why didn't you invite us? We go on vacation every year, just us and the kids. I'll reach out to you next time. Talk to you later. I will not forgive you for this. You can't just leave us behind. I didn't mean to leave you behind. I shouldn't have to invite you every single time. And we can't pay for your expenses. If you're willing to pay for your own expenses, then you can join us whenever you please. What are you talking about? You're such a cool daughter-in-law. I can't believe you would say something like that to us. What kind of things is Dylan teaching you? He hasn't been teaching me anything. Then you should be able to pay for our expenses, since we're family. I'm sorry, I don't know if we can do that. So you can go off and waste your money, but we can't? I'm sorry, but we actually have a strict budget. Why don't you discuss this with your husband? I don't think there's much else I can tell you. Things always come so easily for you. But isn't that all because of Dylan? Huh? What do you mean by that? The fact that you can go on vacation is all because you married Dylan. And you don't even thank his parents. Doesn't that make you a bad daughter-in-law? I went on this trip with my own money. You've got to be kidding me. You're not even making much money. My husband is nice, so he won't tell you this. But we really hoped that Dylan would marry someone nicer than you. We really hate you. Don't you get it? I don't understand, but I'll invite you guys to the next trip. If you have the means to do so, please feel free to join us. I will not let go of the fact that you went to Hawaii without us. You can't just be mad at us. We didn't do anything wrong. Okay, I'll be going now. My wife keeps complaining about your trip to Hawaii. I'm sorry about that. No, that's okay. But hey, can you please repay me for the money I lent you? A long time has already passed since you said you would pay me back. Can you pay me back even if it's in small increments at a time? Is that so? <laughs> I'm getting older, so my memory isn't too good. This isn't funny. It seems like your wife wants to travel soon. But first, you need to pay me back what you owe. Why don't you try living more moderately? Oh, about that. Can I also borrow $4,000? Huh? My wife keeps bugging me about wanting to go on vacation. If I don't take her soon, she's going to hold a grudge over you guys. So can't you help me out here? Madison, you don't want to spoil my wife's mood, now do you? I don't want to, but I can't lend you any more money. If you want to go on vacation, you guys should try to save up some money on your own. But before you do that, give me back the money that you owe me. What are you talking about? We've treated you well up until now, haven't we? I've been helping mediate between my wife and you. So wouldn't you mind lending me a little more money? I have to refuse. If you can't start paying me back, then I really can't take it anymore. I'll tell your wife about this. Please don't. Fine, I'll figure things out. Just please wait, don't tell her. From now on, please message Dylan, not me. Or transfer the money into my bank account first, then message me. Thank you. Goodbye. What's wrong with you? I can't believe you did this. Give the money back, you stupid girl. Huh? What's going on? Calling me a stupid girl is quite uncalled for, no? How so? You deserve that title after what you've done. What did I do exactly? You had the audacity to borrow $45,000 for my husband. I always thought something was off about you. The fact that you can afford to go on vacation every year? Yet, you borrowed money from my husband? I bet you used that money to go on the trip. You should be ashamed of yourself. Did you find an IOU that shows how much debt I owe your husband? I did. When did this all happen anyways? You didn't even ask for my permission. I can't believe you! so that's why you're sending me hateful messages. Exactly. Now, you better pay us back. Did you actually discuss this with your husband? You borrowed money from my husband. 
And to make things worse, you went on vacation with that money. Huh? Don't just make things up. You basically just told me that you went on vacation with your own money. But in reality, you were only able to go because you borrowed that money. Doesn't that mean that I could have gone too? If we hadn't lent you that money, then I could have gone on vacation. You need to ask your husband about this. There is nothing more that I can say. I already heard everything from him. He said that he couldn't say no to you when you asked for help. Isn't that right? What? Did he really say that? Yes, it's because my husband is very kind. Now, give back the money. What the heck are you doing thinking you can go on vacation while in debt? And the fact that you didn't tell me about this? You're not thinking straight. I can't believe that he would tell you that. That's really hard to believe. Get it together! And you kept it a secret that you borrowed $45,000 from my husband. You've got my sweet husband involved in this mess. Now, give me back the money, you little thief. I was the one who gave him the money. What? You're the one who needs to get it together. You're calling me names even though I was the one who lent him the money. Your husband was in a whole lot of debt from Campbell Inc. So he came to me crying about it. He told me that his payment due date was coming up soon, so he asked me to lend him some money. But then, he told me he also wanted an extra $4,000. My husband did this. This must be a joke. There's no way. Stop saying this nonsense and disrespecting my husband. You're one to tell me. <laughs> he just didn't like that you found his IOU. So he lied and said that it was money that he lent me. That type of lie is really easy to see through. I will ask you one last time for my reimbursement. Huh? From me? Well, what else can be done? Since your husband can't pay me back. I was thinking about taking some legal action soon, if nothing else changes. What do you mean you'll take legal action? You're talking crazy. We're your family, right? Even as a family, don't you think you should properly return the money that you borrow? If you can't return the money to me, then I'll have to take the necessary legal steps. Or would you prefer paying me back now? Madison, please calm down. Let's talk this through. I apologize for my misunderstanding. I had no idea that someone in my family was in debt. I'm sorry. Thank you for apologizing. Now, please, the money. About that, can't we just leave this all behind? Huh? What do you mean? It was our fault. I'll make sure that my husband hears all about this. I think he'll come around to apologize. You should really come over for dinner sometime if you like. What are you trying to get away with here? Please, forgive the debt we owe you. Are you being serious right now? Yes, I am. Why? We're family, right? We shouldn't be so hard on each other. <laughs> you understand, right? If we pay back the debt, then our lives will suffer. If that happens, then Dylan will suffer too, you know? I've already spoken to Dylan about this. He doesn't seem to care anymore. Huh? He doesn't. I guess you never knew about your husband's gambling addiction. You'll have to start there if you want to fix things. Dylan says that if you continue to not pay off your debt, then he won't stop me when I take legal action against you. Dylan would never say that. You're lying. You've put Dylan in a tough situation. You send me distasteful messages almost every day. And when I see you in person, all you do is insult me. Regardless of that, I wanted to help support your livelihood. So I lent my savings to you. I'm grateful for that, but... Exactly. You should be grateful. But it's too late now. What do you mean, it's too late? Forget about the debt. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. You must give me back the money soon. I won't allow you to joke around like that with me anymore. I have receipts. Do you think you can get away with this? I wasn't planning on running away, but I just asked my husband about this, and it turns out he has some other debt as well. I'm not surprised. What? You knew? 
It's pretty hard for the average person to spend such a big sum of money, like $45,000 on gambling. I assume that since he's borrowing money in unconventional ways, then it makes sense as to why he would be struggling to repay his debts. Is that so? That's why I lent him the money. So that he could somehow redeem himself. But things didn't work out. Figure things out for yourself from now on. We're no longer helping you. Wait, don't say that. It was all my fault. I'm sorry for all the times I've attacked you. Our family is in trouble now. You understand that we need your help to make it through, right? That's why I tried helping. But there's nothing more I can do now. I have a job, so they might take away some of my salary if I continue to intervene. Good luck to the two of you. Your beloved husband should be fine, right? I'm trying to message Dylan so that he can help us. But he won't respond. What's going on? Can you two come over today? We can't. We're no longer speaking with you. I'm getting a lawyer, so from now on, speak to me through them. A lawyer? You're seriously taking things that far? Aren't we family? You've always treated me as a stranger. But now you're playing the family card? <laughs> so that I have to bear your burdens? How far are you willing to go, using others to your own advantage? Don't say that. We're getting older now, so don't abandon us. Get yourself together. You and your husband need to stop depending on us. Work things out yourselves. Are you seriously abandoning us? Madison, I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Goodbye now, and good luck, okay? You probably won't be able to go on vacation to Hawaii for a while now. <laughs>
my husband. I can't believe my husband Aaron was hooking up with my sister. It's more like we're in deep love rather than just dating. Aaron seems to have fallen for me. He's been contacting me constantly. I miss you so much, Olivia. I wish I could live here with you, Olivia, is what he says. Huh? I can't help but think guys who fall madly in love with me are so adorable. That's why I want to make his wish come true. You should pack your bags and get out of there, sis. I'll live with him from now on. Sorry to bother you at work, Aaron. I have something important to talk to you about. What's up? It's unusual for you to contact me while I'm at work. I'm going to ask you directly, but are you in a relationship with my sister? What? Olivia told me yesterday that you guys have been together for a year. She also told me that you said you wanted to live together with her at the new house. What? Wait a minute. Did Olivia really say that? The answer to my question is either yes or no. You're in a relationship with Olivia, correct? Oh, no. It's more like... By the way, I got some evidence from your study. I was holding my anger in until you left for work today. And I immediately went through your study from one end to the other. Um... Now, come on, answer my question. I like to hear them directly from you. I'm sorry. I've been seeing Olivia for a year behind your back. But it was just for fun. We were just dating on a whim. You've got to be kidding me. I wouldn't care if it was some random girl, but how could you be so stupid to mess around with your wife's sister? You even have a young daughter. You betray not only me, but your little girl too. I'm so sorry. I didn't think about it that much. I just happened to meet Olivia at a bar, had some drinks, had a good time, and before I knew it, we were together. There is no such thing as before I knew it. I'm sorry. Everything happens for a reason. Even the vast universe was created because of the Big Bang. How can two adults be in a relationship without a reason? I'm sorry. I'm in a relationship with Olivia. I'm the one who asked her out. I'm divorcing you. I can't live with this betrayer anymore. Wait a minute, Nancy. I don't want to divorce you. And our daughter, Molly, is so precious to me. I beg you, please reconsider divorce. You cheated on me despite having a beautiful daughter. I'll go break up with Olivia right away. So please, give me one more chance. Sis, are you out right now? Yes, so what do you want? Lucky me! I'll bring my belongings in while you're out. I'll put all your stuff out in the yard. Huh? I'm glad I got the spare key from Aaron. Well then, I'll be entering your home now. Wait a minute. What do you mean by spare key? And taking my stuff out without permission? What the hell do you think you're doing? I told you a few days ago. The new house will be ours. Aaron's and mine. That's why I'm moving in right now. What? At first, I thought I'd wait until you moved out. 
but I was afraid you might stay here for a while. So, I decided to kick you out immediately. My apartment contract was due for renewal anyways, so... Stop fooling around. You already broke up with Aaron. Stop trying to take over my new house by pretending to be his girlfriend. Huh? There's no way Aaron and I are breaking up. What are you talking about? What? You guys haven't broken up yet? Aaron said he broke up with you right after that conversation. Aaron! He's madly in love with me. There's no way he could break up with me like that. Of course, I have no intention of breaking up with him either. I mean, he even stayed over at my place yesterday. You're kidding. I'm sure he was on a business trip yesterday. Aaron lied to you like that? And you didn't even notice. You're really insensitive, sis. No way. He said he was going to end things with you. He was so desperate not to get divorced. Aaron will never say such things. Yesterday, he said he wanted to marry me ASAP. Huh? That's why I rushed to move in like this. I'm sure Aaron will be surprised. When he comes home from work, his beloved babe will be awaiting him. He'll be so happy that he'll hug me at the door. I was foolish to think I could trust that man even a little. I was reconsidering divorce for the sake of our daughter. I never thought he'd betray me again. All right, I'm all done moving my stuff in. It's a good thing I hired a moving company. I can't believe it was this easy to move all of your stuff out. Yours and your daughter's stuff has all been left outside. Olivia, just to make sure, don't you have any feelings of guilt? You made a move on your own sister's husband. Kicked her out of her new house. How can you be so cheerful? I don't feel guilty at all. I'm a more attractive woman than you. It's no wonder Aaron is obsessed with me. It's not my fault at all. Huh? Unlike you, sis, who's just an ordinary housewife, I'm a shining beauty. Since I'm very professional, I'm the department head, even at this age. I have a fulfilling job, and I have fun with the money I earn. I'm the kind of woman who would look good standing next to the company CEO. To be frank, I'm a better match for Aaron than you. So I deserve to have my husband and house taken away from me? What a barbaric way of thinking. That barbarism is what attracts him to me. Aaron finds me more exciting and thrilling than his quiet wife. Aaron always says, my wife is nothing more than a burden and a hindrance to me. She is nothing more than a parasite, and I have lost all love for her. What? Now you know how unloved you are. From now on, I, the perfect match for him, will live in this house. So you, housewife parasite, get out of the house. Fine. Be prepared for what's to come. Huh? I've made up my mind. In that case, we'll leave as you wish. Aaron and I are getting a divorce immediately. You can have him. So, from now on, Olivia, you're his wife and you're going to support him. Even if he's kicked out of the company and no longer serves as the CEO. Huh? What do you mean he'll be kicked out of the company? I knew Aaron wouldn't tell you anything about this. There's no way he'd tell you that his wife holds almost all the power in his company. That's a lame thing to say, right? Huh? Why do you have such authority over the company, sis? 
You're just a housewife. You're just a parasite living off Aaron's money. What's a woman like you doing with the authority of the company? That parasite is the one who raised the money to rebuild the company. She gave up all her money for her beloved husband. What? Aaron's company was in a financial crisis a few years ago. Sales were declining due to high fuel prices and rising shipping costs. I helped him get the company back on its feet. I gave him $2 million in total with my savings from my single days, stocks that I had bought, and the money by selling everything I had. And in exchange, I got to own stocks of the company. Really? I already own the company's stock as its wife. In total, I own about two-thirds of the company's stock. You're the department head at a company, so you know what that means. You're kidding me. You're a dictator, owning more than half the company's stock? You can do whatever you want with the stockholders' meetings and everything. In fact, Aaron's company belongs to you more than him. Exactly. That's why I can hold a shareholders' meeting and fire the CEO ASAP. But to treat a housewife like a parasite? He's such a terrible husband. Oh no! Well then, I'll go get the divorce papers right away. I'll arrange for someone to come and pick up your belongings right away. Well then, you take care of Aaron from now on. Hey Nancy, what's this? Why is there an urgent shareholders meeting? What's more, they're going to fire me from my position as CEO. Why are you bringing that up so suddenly? A person who betrays his family with no hesitation is not fit to be the head of a company. That's why I'm firing you immediately. What do you mean betray his family? I promised you I wouldn't cheat on you. Remember? I broke up with Olivia right after that. We don't keep in touch anymore. We don't even see each other privately. Huh? You didn't break up with Olivia, did you? I already know everything. What? Olivia just took over our house. She said you guys never broke up and that you wanted to get divorced. So, she packed up her stuff and moved in. No way! What the hell is wrong with her? Can you wait until later to get mad at Olivia? My first priority is to talk about the divorce. I'll hire a lawyer and we'll talk about it right after the shareholders meeting. What? I'll get custody of our daughter, of course. I'll also ask for a decent amount of child support, so be prepared for that. Wait, wait, please wait. I don't want to get divorced from you. I'll break up with her properly this time. I promise I'll do it. So don't tell me you're getting a divorce. Do you really think I'm going to believe you now? Don't say that. I'll never lie to you again. I'll work hard and expand the company. I'll bake you and our daughter happy. I'll ensure a luxurious life for you forever. So please, don't divorce me. I'm sorry, but can you say such things at the shareholders meeting? It doesn't matter what you say here. What? I'm going to speak up at the shareholders meeting that your resignation is because you cheated on me. No matter what people accuse me of being selfish, I'm going to say it out loud and proud. So, I'd like to hear your excuses at the shareholders meeting too. What are you saying? How can I do such an embarrassing thing at a shareholders meeting? 
There's no way I'm going to make excuses for cheating in front of the other shareholders and employees. Then why don't you just say nothing? Just shut up and quietly listen to what I have to say about your position. Oh no! Well then, I'll be leaving now. I look forward to seeing you at the shareholders meeting. This sucks! Aaron, he really got fired. He's now jobless, even though we got to be together. Well, yesterday's shareholders meeting was a blast. When I finally announced his dismissal, there was a round of applause. Some shareholders even whistled. You can't be serious. They were all for it. It seems Aaron was even trying to hook up with some of the part-timers in the company. He was accused of that at the shareholders meeting. We decided we didn't need a CEO who messes around with his own family and company. We had to get rid of him quickly before something irreversible happens. No way! Aaron, are you telling me that there are other women besides me? Oh, what are you so angry about? You had your hands on other people's men too. You don't have the right to be mad at others for making a move on your man. Huh? Oh, by the way, the new president was elected without a hitch. There's a very talented employee who's working hard in the company. He seems to be more popular than Aaron. With someone like that as president, I'm sure the company will be fine. I'm going to hold on to my shares and not sell them. This is a disaster. What the heck? I thought I could have it all. And now, he's jobless, and he even tried to get his hands on young girls. I don't want such a man anymore. I'll give him back to you, sis. No, I don't need that piece of trash. I don't need him either. He's unemployed and doesn't do anything to take care of the house. A man like him is not suitable as my partner. Oh dear. I told Aaron that if he is jobless, he should at least take care of the house. But then... He couldn't do anything at all. He's a super useless guy. Of course he is. He left everything to me, the housewife. He can't do his job. He can't take care of the house. What's the point of being together with him? And on top of that, he wants me to pay the mortgage on this house. What is it with this loan? $4,000 a month is ridiculous. When he was the CEO, it was an affordable price to pay. But I'm sure you'll be fine. You're a very successful woman. You're so talented, you're even entrusted to be a department head. This is impossible. Even though I'm a department head, my monthly income is $6,000. I can't lose $4,000 from there to a loan. You still have $2,000 left. With that much, you can make ends meet. Well then, I wish you and Aaron a long and happy life together. Aaron and I officially divorced, and I was able to accept alimony, child support, and property in one lump sum. I guess that's why he's almost out of savings now. He now lives in the house with Olivia as a kept man. And she is working hard to pay off the massive mortgage. I want you to build another company and succeed, she said, and put all of her savings into Aaron's new business. However, it seems that he has failed at every one of them, and now... There are rumors that he has a few tens of thousands of dollars in debt that he is keeping a secret from Olivia.